Hello, it's been a while. It's been a while here at the Dremel table. This is a piece of, I believe it's cedar, driftwood that I found on the beach when I was beachcombing last week. Um, it's 20 inches long. It's seven inches wide. And I believe I got like a five or six inches depth. Now, when I found this piece, I said to myself, well, that's a perfect wall hanger for a wood spirit because it's got the flat part here. And this part comes off the wall. So it will sit perfect on the wall and it will take the beard off the wall too. So it's just not a flat piece on a, on a wall, if that makes sense to you. Now, I really am sitting here and I don't know what to carve. Do I carve a wood spirit? That's a lot of carving with the Dremel. It's not a small piece of wood. Do I carve a wood spirit? Do I carve a wizard? Do I carve a pumpkin? I'm kind of sick of carving them. I know it's Halloween times coming up. We're a month away. More than a month away, but I'm just sick of carving Halloween stuff. So maybe I'll carve a wizard here in this piece. My wizard will have uh, like an old cloth um, wizard hat, kind of like a old pope or something like that, you could say. Old pope wizard. Hmm. Let me think about it. I got to drink some more coffee. Do I have coffee? Yeah, I got to fill my coffee up. Coffee's filled up. So now this piece is, is perfect for a face because, well, it's not quite perfect. But pretend this is like a, half of a 4x4 four four and you slice it and you get the point here, right? Like I say on lots of my videos, and you got the side of the face is already rounded on each side. But it's like there's lots of extra carving to do this because both sides aren't exactly the same. See, this one's steeper. And this one goes wider. So, but I suggest for the very beginners, if you're going to carve a wood spirit or a face, use a corner of a fence board, like a a board. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to label this one a completely useless video because, well, I haven't done anything yet. Nothing. I don't know what to carve. <laughs> All right. So it's like 10 minutes later. I don't know what to carve, so what I suggest to everybody that's wanting to do carve the wood spirits is when you don't know what to carve, well, carve a wood spirit and practice on certain parts of the wood spirit, I guess. Um, so this might be uh, like three videos. I'll do step by step. We'll do a wood spirit wizard. But then again, I don't know if I want to carve a wood spirit. Okay, that's it. I just kind of want to carve a free for all today. I think what I'm going to do is carve a, like a silhouette of a face in this piece of wood. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put the piece of wood down. I'm going to just start down. Because like I say in lots of my videos too, um, your mind really doesn't open up until you actually start carving. Maybe I'll, because you can carve something here so it sits on somebody's desk too. The possibilities are endless. Okay, so I cut into the back of it a bit. I'm not 100% certain this is a cedar. I won't know until I cut more into the wood. It doesn't smell like cedar. And sometimes when you carve this driftwood, because um, the smell from this floating around the ocean for a bunch of years, make sure there's no spider in there. You got to you gotta cut carve deep into it until you can actually get the real smell of the piece. So let's see here. Let's, um, so... That point here is no good for us. Um, let's see. Let's move it over here a bit. This will be our center center line. Now I need to find a better pen. So our center line here. Then that's still going to leave you. It just means lots more carving to make this side. As steep as this side. No, I just don't think. I just don't think this is what's what, what my mind is telling me is. I just don't think this piece is going to work for what I want it to work for. So 
then you have to come up with another plan. I'll come up with another plan. Okay, so I recently did a wood spirit inside of a log, and I made it so half the wood, so you, this part's all fresh, stays like driftwood here. Then I carve inside here, and I carve a wood spirit, like a half a face or something. So that's what I'm going to do on this piece, I guess. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my drum and cut along this line. You don't want to, when you're doing this, you don't want to hit this, uh, this gray wood here. You want to leave it all gray. Oh boy. Yeah. Leave it gray. And, uh, turn on the d dust collector. Turn up your Dremel. Okay, so I'll get this all uh, cleaned up. I don't think this is not cedar. I think it might be actually some birch wood. See how white it is in here? I'll get all this cleaned up. So as I was carving deeper, deeper, deeper in here, Gurdeep says carve deeper to get rid of all that uh, ocean driftwood stuff. This is a piece of hard Douglas fir. It's even got some spalting in here where so you can see the outside was here. So that spalting is basically starting to rot. It's a fungus that gets inside there. I haven't seen much of that with the um, Douglas fir. I'm not 100% this is Douglas fir, but the uh, oranges tint in the wood kind of makes me think it's Douglas fir. And so you can see I'm basically carving edge grain here. See how the grains come up and down? I'm not a huge fan of that when I'm Dremel carving. But So this is what we got. So we're going to go with that. Well, we've got a kind of – I wasn't planning on it, but when I was carving – to make it look like an old rusty piece of wood, I, I did this, and I just looked at it after, and it kind of looks like a wizard's hat. Up there. I tried to even out the angles of both these sides, too. So we're going to just basically do a wizard, I guess. Hope this um, video is useful to some people. So, wizard, the nose, and we'll put some uh, eyebrows right under here, a bit, under, just underneath the cap. Maybe we should give this guy, let's give this guy a big nose. Let's call it a big nose wizard. Yeah, I'll redraw it on. Okay, so your wizard cap here, let's bring it down some, a little bit on the sides too here. I've uh, got to find a better pen again. It's on camera. Yep. So then bring it down the sides. 
this side is longer than this side. Anyway, so center line for your nose. Let's see, a big nose wizard. Let's uh, go like this, this, and then this. Then because this side's bigger, well, we won't we won't make the hat come down the sides. We'll just end it there. Now, this guy is going to have a honking nose. That's okay. Well, that's pretty big. When I'm done carving my noses, that will be a huge nose. Let's go with these lines here. So I make sure that this pitch, like here to here, is the same pitch and the same size. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carve... Your noses don't always have to stick farthest off the piece. It's just like a human face, looking at the human face, like a side view of the human face. Because we have to take this hat down if we want to get their nose to stick the farthest off. Like, take, maybe we will. Anyway, so that's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to carve on the brim of this hat. Then I'm going to carve around the nose. Like I say in lots of my videos. When I carve around the nose, the deepest part around the nose that I carve is from here, all down in here. I carve all this deep around here so you get the nose to really pop off, right? Like, and see that why this helps for the very beginner? Because, well, it's not a, if this was all flat, this is just a flat board like my hand's going, you would have to carve all this wood up here away too to get this nose to pop off. But since this piece goes on an angle like this, you don't have that much wood to remove below the nose. But since this is Douglas fir and it's harder, um, yeah, it sucks. I've given you the wider angle here. So I'm using a Dremel 4000 with a Cutsaw Extreme Flamber Dremel Flex Shaft with a foot pedal for on and off. Okay, and I'm just gonna carve and we'll see if I'm gonna do a voiceover or not, but I think I explained everything. Carve below the hat, remove some wood below the hat, carve beside the nose, carve deep right here. Three, two, one. Turn on the dust collector. Me. Now, when I'm cutting deeper into this wood, um, I just realized that it's not Douglas fir. It's some kind of um, fruit wood. It smells fruity. Probably uh, cherry wood or plum wood or something. I'm just not too sure. But it's a hard wood. So you can see here how I got the... Here, where's the nose? Right here? Now, I'm going to remove the wood up here, around here. We still got to carve our eyebrows in and then carve deeper around the nose.
Okay, so let's curve deep below the nose again. So cut, I got my cut mark in there, now let's remove the wood. Blow it. This is fruity snow and wood. Hey, let's clean up all those uh, pen marks on the nose. Let's get rid of those. We got good lighting here. Okay, so there's our nose popping off. Now let's uh, cut deeper. First of all, let's put our eyebrows on here. So we're going to cut deep on the eyebrows. Then we're going to remove some more wood right here alongside of the nose, okay? So cut, cut, and remove some wood in here. Cut, cut, and remove some wood here. For some reason, it feels like I don't have very good lighting. Let's see if I turn this light off. How's that? Any better? I turn the light off on this side so you get better shadows. So let's do those cuts. Oops. And remove. Or maybe I'm going to turn this other light back on. It's just one of those days today. Now this, this is a tricky wood to carve because you see how it's white inside here? I don't know if you can see, but some of it's getting punky. So you'll see me all of a sudden, boom, dig in because it gets super soft. Mostly on this side. Okay, so now look at this bridge of the nose. It goes right underneath the hat. So what we got to do is I just 
when I'm carving, I just carve things that I notice needs to be done. So here's a line here. Now we need to cut on this line, cut the deep there, bring it down to where the eyebrows are. And then we need to slope the nose that way. Does that make sense? Take it just below the eyebrows. Okay. So see that? That cut in there? Now I'm going to slope it down. And you'll see me always, um, you'll see me always turning the wood. Okay. You'll see me always turning the wood. Because I turn it wherever this bit makes it easier for this bit to cut. So now I'm carving down the stairs with the grain, right? So. Kind of rounding the nose a bit. So I know we got to cut that bridge deeper. So there we go. Starting to take shape, right? Sloping down. Let's get some of his. Oh boy, bad lighting today. Let's see here. It's with this whiter wood. Okay, so there you can see the nose is sloping back now. We can do more if we want. Now, because you sloped it back, because you sloped it back, it's touching the face right here. So I normally wouldn't do this, but for since we're filming and for the very beginners, now I have to recut. Beside the nose and remove the wood in here again to separate the nose, the bridge of the nose from the face. Cut and remove. Cut and remove. Hey, where are those eyebrows now here? Take the hat down lower. Clean up the bottom of the nose before you So cap eyebrows underneath the cap nose 
Remove some more of this wood. Save you from doing it later. Down here. Let's take a break. So maybe there you get a better view of it, what's happening. So your eyebrows, your hat, your nose. Let's give you a better view of your nose. Okay, so if you want to get that nose to pop off, just you can carve those friggin' eyebrows and that hat right down and recarve them in. So am I enjoying carving this wood? Well, not really. But the show must go on. And we're going to try and make the best out of it as we can make the best out of it. So let's um, draw our mustache on. The mustache, you can have it rolling off the face like a normal mustache, or you can have it just coming down like this. I haven't done one of these ones in a long time, and I don't honestly want to put too much time into this piece. Just because it's, I'm not, like, um, it's going to be really hard to carve real eyes in here because the wood's so punky and soft right where this crack is. So, you know, like, you can see where I, was, I carved deeper here. There's no crack, so that's how to avoid carving the punky soft wood. Just carve it deeper. You could carve all this, all this hat and stuff lower and deeper, and then recarve the eyes, and then it wouldn't be so punky. Well, it doesn't feel too punky there, but right around here, it, it kind of is. So this one will just kind of have this type of uh, mustache. Let's let's give this one a real long mustache, like bring it down the face and. There's so many different ways to carve your wood spirits and give them the, like, like here's a long mustache. You can give it a flowing mustache. You can make it come more off the face like this. You know, there's just so many different scenarios and ways to do things. As long as you're having fun, that's the most important part, I believe. And I'll kind of stick to that. So let's turn the fan on and we're going to cut. Another part where I cut deep is. I'm going to cut deep here again, too, on both sides. Because we said we want to give this guy the big nose, right? He's already got a big honker. Let's make it bigger, just for the fun of it. If it doesn't turn out, if it doesn't work out, it's not a big deal. We're practicing, right? We're just having a good time. Three, two, one, ignite the fan. Oh, i got to lift this camera up high so that dust doesn't get on the lens. Three, two, one, ignite the fan. Okay, so let's cut deep here. Not too deep. All the way down the mustache. Yeah, see, I felt it get really funky in there. See how it digs in there? Okay, let's do this side. Give it some turns, it's some, a little bit of movement, okay, so now I got to remove the wood all beside the mustache. Other side. It's going to get tricky in here. Remember, you don't want to hit this gray wood. So sometimes I'll even hold my Dremel like this. Both hands. This is an awkward piece of wood to carve, too. It's got, it moves around lots because it's bouncing on this. Not flat. Okay, so let's carve on the inside of the mustache now. This nose, I can see this side is bigger than this side. See that? See how, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but this side is longer than the left side. 
So what I'm going to do is just carve this This length is bigger than this length. So I'm going to slope this one back a bit, make them more equal. Because I'm doing it now because I saw, I see it now. Yeah, that's better. Okay, remove the wood inside the mustache. Now the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this other light back on. Sorry about that. I just don't know about lighting today. Gotta keep removing that wood in between the mustache. Okay, so if you guys can see what's happening here. Now, your bottom lip, This is you can give them teeth if you want. You can just, you know, like give them teeth and give them a bottom lip down here. But I think we just want to give this guy kind of a fat bottom puffy lip. So we're just going to kind of carve it in round like that. You know, you don't want to carve too deep in here because you want, if you look at the face, you want your your lip to be the same, you know, so your nose is here. You want your lip just to be actually some somewhere along this line. You don't want to carve it too deep in there. So we can always take it down after, like carve the, the lip in deeper after, but let's just carve that in. So I'm going to carve on the outside of this line and uh, kind of make a lip. <laughs> Can we remove the wood? Get rid of your pen marks. Can we remove some wood?
Now, if it doesn't look good, we can always... Well, let's make it a bit smaller. I, I'm not a big fan of those big, puffy bottom lips. That's good enough. And remove some more wood. Okay, so since we've done that, we've got a little lip down there. I don't know if you guys can see. Since we've done that, the mustache has come farther off the face. Well, your mustache doesn't need to stick that far off the face. Can we see here? Is everything good? Uh, Dremel, when I'm filming for Dremel, it's a lot different than chainsaw. So I haven't done Dremel carving in a while, so I'm just adapting to it again. So let's take this mustache down lower. Get rid of all your pen marks. Now the other side. Got to even out that nose again. Okay, so there's your bottom lip in there. Your mustache comes all the way down here, all the way down here, because you remove the wood on both sides of it. Now, the mustache, you see this is your cheekbone here on both sides. The mustache, now I carve it deep into there. I carve it down inside that cheekbone on both sides. So the cheekbone sticks higher than the mustache. Now the other side. Now you can cut deeper below the nose too. Not too much. You may have to recarve your lip in again. I'm just carving right now, so everything kind of makes sense to me, if that makes sense to you. Okay, so now the nose. Now let's cut, let's make the nose 
the top of the nose like a triangle. So this would be the top of the nose. So let's make it like this. Just go back and forth from side to side. Now, this is such an awkward piece of wood, especially to be filming for YouTube. Okay, we'll keep on switching it back and forth. And don't forget, you got to get up the bridge of the nose, too. Oops. Got to carve deeper, carve deeper. Who cares? Make the bridge of the nose a bit thinner. By cutting beside it, removing the wood where you cut on the face. Okay, so there you go. There's your kind of triangle. Just keep on working from one side. Split the nose in half, right? So here's half your nose here, half your nose here. Work on this side. Don't just work on one side all the time. Work on this and jump over and try and make them equal as you're carving. Like this, I carve deeper. I carve deeper down here on this side of the face to try and make it equal with this side of the face. Now your nostril, you can put a line across here to make them both the same height. So I just kind of bring it up and around. This is when you want to take your time for the very beginners. Okay. I just... I'm going to pretend this is my cutter here. I'm just going to come up and around. Then I'm going to come over here, come up and around. Then I'm going to remove some wood inside here. That's how you can get your uh, nostril flared out. Okay. Now we move the wood up, up here. So I see that this side's bigger again. Oh.
Okay, so now I look at this this smile line thing in this one. I see this one's for me it's always more rounder, so I just come over here. So where I put two hands on the dremel to get full control. Okay, so now, there you go. You can make it more slow back if you want to. Now, your snot, your snot holes or whatever, your nostrils, the holes, don't go too close to this edge. So I go up and under, but I don't go too close to the edge because you can have a blow, and then you're going to get a huge nostril. Then look at the bottom. I'm looking at I'm looking at here and trying to get start the other one on the same side, same way. Okay, I'll kind of give them a little flare. Now the human nose actually does like kind of um well I'll just show you it kind of does some of them has a bump like that that goes out but that's okay so there we go there's the nose done nostrils now no nostrils are the same in real people look at your own nostrils they're not really the same so the closest you can get them the better. Now, let's take another break. This could be a long video. Okay, so everything is almost on point. I see that this side of the face, because the wood was softer here, is more flatter than this side. This side is like more round. Um, I'm not a, for my own carvings, I'm, I speak for myself. Um, these round puffy lips, um, I don't like them for my own carvings. I like them on other people's carvings. So like um, Uncle Kevin does these lots, uh, Ryan Cook's best friend. I'm going to make mine more straight later. I'll just remove down here. Yeah. So that's that. Um, now, cheekbones. Another thing, too. Remember I said how this side of the wood was a lot steeper and this side was I had more room? So you can see here. Here, I have more. So say your cheekbones would be there. Cheekbones. Here I have down here to do the beard. Here I have no room to do the beard, but it's fine. It's the way the piece of wood is. You know, it's like nothing has to be perfect. Like my nostrils, they're not perfect. My nose isn't perfect. It's It says what it is, does it not? Um, so, yeah, this is flatter than here. This is more, comes more round. Now, my cheekbones, I just, you can do them, just carve kind of Rob does them this way, round. That's the proper way, actually. So you do a cut here. And then you'd bring your beard down. But I just kind of go like this with mine and here and then here. And I just kind of get my bit and I round it off inside there, kind of give them the, the cheekbone effect. Then you can do your beard mustache off there. So let's work on that next after I'm done sipping on my fourth cup of coffee. Okay, first thing first, let's uh, fix that bottom lip for myself. Um, when you have the puffier bottom lip, I just kind of think it looks a little bit more friendly. I don't want mine to look friendly.
So the deeper I cut that in, the deeper I can take my mustache down, right? Right. Okay, cheekbones. I'm just going to get my bit and slowly do the work inside here. Okay, that side. Uh, Remember how I said this side of the face is more rounder? I'm trying to make, equal it up with the other side now. Okay, so there you can see the cheekbones. Hard to see this side. Then you can bring your beard hairs down here. Remember, you're trying to keep your mustache separate from your beard. Oops, I kind of made mistakes. On this side, you can only take it to there. Okay. 
So sorry about that. I went on a little bit of a carving frenzy, carving fusion frenzy, power carving trip to get this uh, mustache done, the beard. So it's not the best, but you see how the mustache has straight lines. Then I cut up the, the, the beard hairs. I kind of cross them. I don't, like I said, I, I don't, I've already spent too much time on this piece. I'm not enjoying carving this wood, but the show must go on. Now you can see, remember I had that point for the mustache here. Um, I, when I was carving fast and crazy, I kind of messed it up. So I had to do this thing, but now like, see, it used to be like a point there. Now it's like squared off, but now that's too small for me. So what I got to do is just carve deeper on both sides and make the bottom lip a bit bigger. Cause it looks like he's kind of just, well, I guess that's all right. <sighs> Carving the eyes. I'm not going to film carving the eyes this time. I'm just going to carve them in because, well, the struggle's real This with this wood. This whole piece of wood is, it's, it's hard wood, trust me, but it's all spalted in there. See the different colors? It's not consistent. Look at the size of that nose. Look at that hooter. There's the best view right there. All right. So how about I fix up that mustache and carve the eyes? Now, remember how I said I was going to fix that bottom lip? Now, here's the thing for all the new wood carvers. Your wood spirits are not going to look like my wood spirits. You might learn some tips from me. Your wood spirits are going to look like your wood spirits. My, when I carve a wood spirit, I'm like, yep, yeah, it looks like, like another one of Jordy's wood spirits. We all have our own style. We all carve into our own style. A big thing about carving for the very beginners is learning the tools, how they work, what different burrs work. You see for the eyebrows there, so I was thinking, what should I carve the eyebrows in with? Well, I just had this little tiny metal working burr, and I used that. So the more burrs that you have, like, this is barely any of my burrs. I got tons more burrs than this. This is just some of them. The more burrs that you have and you, the more you learn how to use them, the better you're going to get. So I'm happy with this. I like the way it looks. It looks like just kind of like an old guy kind of resting in the wood. Um, did I like carving this wood? No, I didn't. But did I pull through and finish it? Yes, I did. Now, there's another thing that you could do too. So here's a little can of butane. Get these little butane torches. Now, you can burn away all the detail. Like I said, this was a fairly hard wood to carve. Not too hard, but there was hard and soft spots, right? Like where I said where the wood went uh, punky, like um, soft, like foam. Um, do you want to wood burn it? Because you can burn away your detail. But I think maybe on this one, if we give it a little bit of wood burn on the beard and a little bit maybe around here, around the edge of the piece, it might give it a little bit more character. And another thing, do I want to put a wood finish on this? Probably not, but we'll end it up with a water test to see what it would look like. So let me get this torch going and give it a little bit of a burn here. So I haven't burned this wood yet, so I don't know how well it burns. Also, another thing, don't forget to sign your pieces back there. So I'm just going to give it a little hit up here. It doesn't need much. Just to make it look a bit more rustic. A bit deeper in there. Now, I've been known to burn too much. You can just kind of hit those eyebrows a bit. Just barely hit the eyes. And up around here some more. Well, we can burn here deep. But I'm telling you, I've when I first started, and still to today, I've... I have burnt too much. And just keep on going all the way around the outside. Because we're going to hit this with the flap sander now. When I'm done, of course. And we'll see if I've ruined it. Because I've, like, I'm, I'm not, uh, yes, I repeat, I've ruined lots of carvings by burning too much. Now, something that Ryan Cook taught me when it comes to chainsaw carving, 
you know, it's same with this because I got so much depth carved in this corners of the lips. I can burn in there to give it some highlights. And then when I sand it, your sander won't be able to get where you burn inside there. Okay. And then it will still be dark in there. And we'll just kind of hit it a little bit on the beard, a couple spots, not much. I got to tell myself, stop, Jordy. Just kind of give it a couple spots. Just to give it a little bit more of a more texture in a piece, I guess. That's good enough. I got to tell myself, stop, stop, Jordy, stop, stop, stop right now. Okay. So flap sander. Where's my little flap sander? Where did it go? I just used it. Stand by. This is a little flap sanders you get on Amazon. I believe they're in my Amazon store listed below. Why I put this tape on my finger is so your Dremel handpiece, um, your Dremel handpiece doesn't dent your finger. I have big calluses here. This is a big callus, but even with the tape, you can see it's still dents. It just gives you more comfort and um, because that dent after a while, if you're curving fast and heavy, it starts to hurt a bit. Now this is the flap sander. It's a mandrel, uh, one eighth. Just get some arb. Um, oh, what's the name of this sandpaper? It's a cloth back sandpaper. I just get like uh, four pieces. I rip it up, and then I get one piece backwards. Uh, not Scotch Brite, but um, I forget the name. I'll think of it. And turn your Dremels down really low. My Dremel that I was, because I already sounded this. My Dremel was starting to spark. Yep. Almost another Dremel bites the, bites the dust. And this one's uh, pretty freaking new. Anyways. So there you go. And like I said, everybody, your wood spirits are going to look like your wood spirits. One more thing, too, I'm going to rabble off about. Don't worry about your friends or family members saying, well, why don't you try carving something else besides the wood spirit? Well, stand by. Don't listen to them. If you want to keep carving the wood spirits, then keep carving the wood spirits because I'm telling you, and I know from experience, I still have a lot of work to do on mine. But the more you do, the better you're going to get, okay? And don't worry about carving real eyes right away. Like the easiest eyes are to carve are either looking that way or this way, not straight at you. Up is good, down is good, but straight at you are the hard, hardest eyes to carve. I don't even really bother carving them because I really just don't give a crap. Just have fun what you're doing and um, don't really care. There's just carve Rob's side view. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, now, this piece, too, also, I know I'm all over the map here, but these are the hangers that I've been using for the heavier pieces. You get these on Amazon, just, um, I don't know, Amazon wall hangers or something, picture wall hangers or wall hangers. Um, now I forget what I was going to say. Stand by. I guess it wasn't that important. Just have fun, everybody. Carve infusion over and out. Don't shit your pants. Just give your wood spirit hollow eyes. You don't need to do the real eyes. Look at these ones. There's nothing crazy about them, but they say what they are. Haul them out. I still hollow out eyes on uh, wood spirits. Oh, yeah. I remember what I was going to say. Hold on a minute. I already forget. Or I did anyways. Okay. Now I remember what I was going to say. Um, a wood finish. Do you need to give this piece a wood finish? Absolutely not. I'm just going to suggest to whoever buys this, it's an indoor piece because I've ruined lots of pieces by, I've ruined lots of carvings by putting a wood finish on it too. You can always do, I don't have my water bottle here, but you can always do a spit test. So here's an old school carving fusion spit test to see kind of how the color of the wood would go. 
Get a water bowl, spray it. I just don't have one. No, no finish on this one. Just leave it, Jordy, leave it.